In this week's episode, we go over State Question 805. So let's get to it. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Hello everyone, Kevin here. No matter which candidate or political party you support or don't, you should vote this November 3rd. There are two state questions on the ballot. The state questions are your opportunity to vote directly on the laws and statutes of Oklahoma. So it's kind of important. As I like to do every election cycle, I'll go over the state questions with you. In this episode, I'm going to read you State Question 805, the Criminal History in Sentencing and Sentence Modification Initiative. (laughs) That's a mouthful. Next week, I'll go over the other state question with you, 814. So to start off, I'll read you the state question as it appears on the ballot. I do this to help you and me comprehend the question a bit better. When you see it on the ballot, it will just be a long block of words, sometimes with exceedingly long sentences and occasionally written in legal speak. So sometimes hearing it helps. When I'm done, I will give you my opinion on what I think the question means. But remember to do your own research. In the show notes, I'll have links to information about the state question, as well as to sites for and against the question. So let's get started. Oh, and remember, this is going to be very dry. State Question 805, Initiative Petition 421. This measure seeks to add a new Article 2-A to the Oklahoma Constitution. This new Article A accepts and does not apply to persons who have ever been convicted of a violent felony. It would prohibit the use of a former felony conviction to increase the statutorily allowed base range of punishment for a person subsequently convicted of a felony. Individuals who are currently incarcerated for felony sentences that were enhanced based on one or more felony conviction and whose sentences are greater than the maximum sentence that may currently be imposed for such felonies may seek sentence modification in court. The new article sets forth a detailed process for such sentence modification, including, but not limited to, requirements for a hearing, appointment of counsel for indigent petitioners, and notification of victims, and requires that the court impose a modified sentence no greater than the current maximum sentence which may be imposed on a person convicted of the same felony with no former felony convictions, and which results in no greater time served in prison than under the original sentence. It establishes an appeal procedure, provides an effective date, and contains a servability clause. Shall the proposal be approved? For the proposal, yes. Against the proposal, no. Whew, that was not the easiest state question to read. (laughs) That was some long sentences. But I think it is somewhat straightforward. To me, this means that a person can get a fair sentence for the crime they committed and not have that sentence extended for any nonviolent crimes they may have committed in the past. So if you're convicted for X and the statute says X has a maximum sentence of five years, that's the maximum sentence you can get. If you did Y in the past and Y was not a violent crime, you cannot have your sentence extended beyond the five years for X for that Y crime. (laughs) To me, that sounds fair. What do you think? Are you for or against State Question 805? Let us know. I'll have a discussion thread up on the Blog Oklahoma subreddit. So please join the conversation and let us talk about it. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. If you haven't yet, please go register to vote. 
Here in Oklahoma, you'll only have until Friday, October 9th to register to vote for the November 3rd general election. If you are registered to vote and you want to vote absentee, you only have until Tuesday, October 27th to request an absentee ballot. It is really encouraged that you don't put this off and you request your absentee ballot now. As soon as you get it, fill out your ballot, sign it, go get it notarized, or attach a copy of your driver's license to it. Drop it in the mail. The sooner the better. For more details on how to register to vote or to request an absentee ballot, please visit ok.gov slash elections. That was ok.gov slash elections. You know, it wouldn't be Oklahoma without howling winds and a little electrical issue. So please, ignore any snap, crackles, and pops you may be hearing during this episode. Sorry for that. Oh, and my phone going off. I forgot to hit silent. (laughs) And I also apologize for that loud, Damn it! You may have heard from the general direction of Elk City on Sunday afternoon. That was probably me after the power went out and I had to start recording all over again. (laughs) Fun. (laughs) I hope you're doing well this week. Things have been going good on this side of the Washita River, except for a spike in COVID-19 cases all week long. Kind of not unexpected considering all the public events that have been happening lately. Please remember to mask up when you go out in public. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands and social distance whenever possible. We need to get this virus under control, and we can't do that without your help. Please. Mask up, Oklahoma. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the old Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. New artwork coming soon. Just head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There are many, many hours of music for you to enjoy. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. This is the Blog Oklahoma podcast for September 27th, 2020, episode 169, State Question 805. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.